Hello everyone, I am Mahfuzur Rahman from IC department, lecturer, Milestone College. I hope you all are fine and safe at your home. And if you are obviously maintain the safety hygiene and don't go outside for any rough season or any other task. And you already uh, just finished the Eid vacation, so I hope you all are enjoying your Eid vacation very well and obviously you are safe with your family members. So what we have to do back to study again with our online life class and any other things you we have in our WhatsApp group to instruction to follow, please follow it carefully because in the end of the month obviously you will have an exam. Okay, so my today's topic, I'm going to uh, just share the, some knowledge what I have to you, like a C program, a basic concepts, some basic concepts, and after that, I will uh, show you how to write a C program with properly with my laptop screen. So at first, at, with whiteboard, I will show you some basic parts what we have in C program. Watch it carefully. And please, if you have any problems or confusions, please do it at our WhatsApp group with your related subject teachers. Okay, so now the basic of the C program, what we have in the first part, we have header file section. You see, simply you have to use here the hashtag, then include, then this studio.h. So studio.h means standard IO, that means standard input output file dot h header file you have to use to the c program to use the random uh, printf function scanf function this sort of input and output function you, you have to use randomly in your c program so this header file it's mandatory for any c program that, that means in c program or any types of software program you have input output phase it's very common so after that you have main function Okay, so this in main function part, what you have, you have to declare this main file, main to first bracket, then second bracket you will have to use or start our C program. In main function part, uh, you have two part, like number one, declaration part, and number two, it's executable part. So in this part, in declaration part, you have two part. The first one is for data type. You see, I use here float. So you can use any other type also like uh, int uh, integer for int, floating point for float, double, lot of other types you have. For this or uh, to this program, we have uh, finding a area of a triangle. So this program, we, we have the formula for area of triangle is area equals to 0.5 into base into height. So that our a data type will be float because we are calculating here for fractional number. So after that, we are using a variable like base, height, and area. So this one for data type. So after that, I'm going to show you now how we want to use a printf function or scanf function. These two functions are very same. Printf for showing output, scanf for taking inputs from the user. So printf function, we have two part. First part is for format specifier. How much the variable you will use? Uh, this source of format is specified, you have to use this portion and this portion for variable. So what is format specifier? Format is specifier, we have a lot of uh, input uh, data type we have, so format specifier will be same. For float, you have to memorize this thing very carefully. For float, you have to use percent %f. For integer, you have to use percent %d. So after that, you see, I am going to mention here for an example, like printf. You see here, I'm just using it, taking the only output for area. So this one, the area variable for a single variable. So you see the format specifier for float percent %f. So I use percent %f here for single one time. Okay, for this sort of things with the basic what you have in our C program. So after that, I'm showing you the, some parts of today's lectures to finding out the area of an triangle. So area of triangle, what we have for the theorem parts, we have half into base into height. In C program, we have we are not going to use this cross sign for multiplication. We have to use this star signs we have in our keyboard. So in your exam, what do you do? 
at first when you have the question paper at your hand you see the question comes to write down the C program for the uh, finding out the area of a triangle so then you just simply write down this equation like area equals to 0.5 into base into height then you see it's a very easy calculation I'm just showing you at this area you have to use for output and 0.5 it's a constant part we have to just take the simple uh, the same just in your C program and after that this B and H these two variable you have to use for input to taking input from user like base will be what and height will be what these two things you have to calculate it from users end user will give you the uh, value for base user will be give you the value for height then in process part this area equals to 0.5 into b into h this formula will calculate the area of triangle then if you just uh, print f the area then you will get the output now i am showing you the total process how we write a c program from scratch to developer end okay so i welcome you all to my laptop to see how i am going to write the area of a triangle c program thank you okay. welcome back with my laptop screen so in this case screen i will show you what we already learned with my whiteboard so for this purpose i am going to use get c plus plus to open or to create C programs file so for that reason we have to go in file then I will hit new project empty okay the project one the default name I will take the file name will be triangle so I'm going to just simply start to write down the program in header section we will have include stdio.h this header file for input output function we have to use here like printf scanf so that i have to include stdio.h this sort of header files here after that we have to call main function then we will start our program along with second bracket the in main function part we have two portion declarable part and executable part so declarable declaration part we have to declare the data type for or my program and the variable we have to use for so i am taking float for here because our theorem is uh, area equals to 0.5 into base into height so float then base height area so after that we will use printf then in printf we have two portion in double quotation part we have to initiate we have to initiate the name what we will want to appear enter the base of triangle so that an user can see so what I have to enter at first like base or height so now I'm taking the input file input program input uh, sorry not input program input function to take it to take input from user like percent if i have to call here and i will just attach the variable for taking the input from user a uh, base you see i'm just using the same uh, character i am using here in the uh, just declaring here in the a uh, in this portion and this one and this one is the same if you just simply make a mistake a slight word or slight uh, specific sim symbol like uppercase or lowercase fact then the output will be not you will see 
so for second part I am going to use the same enter the base no this term was base base is height enter the height of uh, triangle in centimeter so after that I will initiate my input function for that scanf function after the function we have to uh, initiate uh, just finishing the uh, yeah uh, function with semicolon so this one is input function so uh, input statement so every statement you have to uh, finishing with semicolon so this one for height so after that now our output or process part will happen here area equals to 0 0.5 into base into height so now our process part is done now we will just initiate the output area then we will see the output part percent f comma then simply take it we have to write area it's a very simple program i will i'm already understand you in the whiteboard now i'm just simply showing you how how we will initiate all those things in basic programs at your laptop or desktop you you're gonna practice so after that we have to just simply go to execute to see our program is okay or not compile you see i have we have no warnings or errors that means we have just perfect with our programs now i will hit compile tab to see and now i will hit run tab to see my output in the console this one is okay or not just for checking purpose i'm going to show you uh, just a uh, random output input uh, 20 for the base 20 centimeter for the base and again 25 centimeter for the height now i will hit enter tab you see the output 250 will be the area so you can edit the same thing with your area part also so that a user can understand so i can you enter uh, some words so an user can understand the area part will area of of triangle area of triangle semicolon so i'm just save it control s then i will hit again compile again no errors or warnings now i will hit run tab you'll see enter the base of the triangle in the centimeter uh, 25 this time and 35 you'll see the output here area of the triangle is 437.5 okay Allah Hafiz I hope you understand my today's videos and lectures if you have any confusion or question please do it at our whatsapp group and you can feel free to comment at my videos comment section again and again I want to tell you a simple thing please stay at home for your and your family safety Allah Hafiz this is Mahfuz Rahman from Milestone College, ICT Department.